Silverback Chronicles Podcast. It's your boy Big H. I got my brother Dre. Yo, que lo que? What's we good? back. We are back. back. at it. Yes, sir. Guess I'm excited. Guess who else is in the building? Oh, shit. We got a special guest tonight. All day, every day. That's right. Word. But first and foremost, Triple C, what's good? Maintaining, chilling, bro. All day? All day. Word. Ladies and gentlemen, we back at it again. We got a phenomenal guest tonight. Fellow brother, amazing man, owner, entrepreneur, a beast at what he does. And it's nothing but peace and love to everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, I got my brother Dave Cows in the building. What's up, baby? Yes, sir. Yo, yo, yo. What's up with you? Yo, 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 yo. If anyone, <laughs> if anyone's ever been to a upscale party in Baltimore City, this man is responsible for that. I appreciate that. How long you been doing that shit for? Yo, first of all, fuck all that, man. How y'all okay. niggas feeling, man? What's up? Listen, everything's we shaking. You we heard? outside. We, can we, we curse? Here. You better. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. If we I want to make it, sure. If we're going to keep it a tall glass of water, that's how we got to keep it. You heard? Okay. I know technically if somebody doing a, you know, you're not supposed to be chewing gum and shit like that. No, you can do whatever you want. Now you're doing you. Bro. Oh, okay, all right. Come on, yeah, dude. I'll show you. can do whatever Yo, you want. You I, I, I want to tell everybody, I don't know who's interested in coming over here, but I want to tell y'all off top, this shit is a vibe. <laughs> Give the DJ some, yo, real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple C, Triple C, C don't play. God damn, yeah. yo. Hey. You got here a little late. If you would have got here a little earlier, it would have been crazy because the Marcus. music is insane. The Just anything you want to listen to, it's on that. Okay. All right. All right. And, I, and I'm telling y'all right now, the love is real, man. I'm over here having a little cocktail. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. They made it happen for me, so. It's all you about know, you, baby. Just enjoying myself. Well, absolutely. Yeah. So what's up, guys? How y'all feeling, man? Listen. Living. Yeah. All is well. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much. The pleasure's mine. I got my guy here. I know. Oh. <laughs> Known this man for 13 my years. Brother. Since I moved down here. Oh so 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 how did that happen? How you and Dre link up? Man, how did we link up? I was running the club. Uh yep. shout out to Mirage, my brother Anthony, yep. Zeke Way. I was running a club called Mirage downtown, the hottest club in the city. It was crazy back I then. I mean, and oh man, like it was like, you know what I'm saying? It was it was crazy. Yeah, we met out front of the club, man. All the Ravens yeah. and shit used to come out. And yeah, all everybody, that. man. It was, it was it was the hottest club in the city, mm. right? And they still rocking and rolling. Shout out to my guy, uh, JR. They still doing that thing. Oh, you know? JR got it. That's nice. what's up. Yeah. Shout out to JR. It's called Mansion now. Okay. It's called Mansion now, which is what the original uh, name was, uh, actually. So now they, they went back to the original name, Mansion. So it's, it's super dope. Yeah, so that's how we met, man. I met my guy out front, man. Yeah, so I was working brother. out front. And there was a he was, he was holding that issues. shit down. He was holding that shit down. Mm -hmm. It's a real one right here. Is when we, we had the yellow jackets downtown, so we used to come and uh, shut it down. Downtown and shit. anyway. Yeah, they that's what's shutting up. that yeah, shit yeah. down. Niggas you know. was not fuck with my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was. That was when I was young. Take it. I'm an old man now. Take, kick an ass and take it. I do a podcast now. Right. I can't do that no more. You're, you're a gentleman now. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you was a gentleman then. Nah, thank you. Yo, what happened to my guy, the white boy with the bald head? He's retired. He's a good guy. Yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah. tell him I said what's up. Of course, I got That's you. My guy. The the nightlife and so how long you been involved in the nightlife in in Baltimore? Oh my god. Because a lot of people say well, there's no nightlife in Baltimore. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's relative. You know, some people don't really know what to look for. I mentioned something the other day um, that, you know, sometimes you have to know what to look for. Some people just don't, they don't know, they don't get it. They don't have the eye. Yeah, communication is everything, and the information is everything, you know. So if you don't have the information, if you're not communicating, you ain't going to really know what's going on. Baltimore's a little bit different. Baltimore is promoter-driven, relationship-driven. It's not like New York or D.C., where you can just, you know, Google what's going on tonight and go and the shit is popping. It don't right. work like that in Baltimore. Mm. You have to engage. And if you don't engage, have a nice day. Mm. <laughs> you're going to be you gonna Straight be one, like that. You're going to be one bored mother. You're, you're going to be doing circles yeah. around. Right. Yeah, you're you're going to be bored as shit. Yeah, you're going yeah, like, to be a Harbor West, motherfucker. Right. Like, nah, we over Harbor East. So if I'm from out of town, how do, like, how do I dive into that? Good question. I mean... I mean, just start looking up, you know. You got to just tap in. You got to tap into who you know and just lock in the local promoters, event planners. I mean, you could you could try to go to visit Baltimore and, you know, see what's going on on a major scale. 
But for the most part of you really, really want to know what's going on. You got to just tap in. If you don't know, you just don't know. Mm. What I try to tell people is this, right? Baltimore is literally its own country. This is not a city. It's not a state. We literally have our own country. And if you can't tap in, have a very nice day. It just ain't going to work for you. Are you born and raised from Baltimore? I am. Are you east side or west side? I'm west side, but west side county. I came from a uh, beautiful town called Canfield. My family's from McCullough Street, which is west side of Baltimore. Um, but, you know, I was back and forth between the county and the city, but I, I represent my county, man, Canfield, man. Yeah, I'm a county boy all day. Yeah, it was nothing but, like, real ones around there. You know, we we just outside the city. So I'm from Canfield, man, and there was nothing but real guys around there. But we also, not everybody, but, you know, some of us had good fathers, real men, you know, real families that that held us down, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and prepared us for this world. No, know? it's important. So it was it's a beautiful thing. You know, I'm not one of them guys that, you know, everybody got the story, oh, I'm from the hood, I was a soldier. Like, that's not my story. You know what I mean? And that's not what I want my story to be. You know? Excellent. Yeah, that's not what it was. I mean, yeah, obviously I, you know, I did certain things, but, you know, when it come down to it, I had a beautiful family. And, you know, I I got the best father in the world, the best mother in the world, the best sister, the best brother. I had a beautiful, beautiful childhood. Beautiful childhood. Man. That's dope. So, you know. So what drove the entrepreneurial spirit in you? Well, well, well once again, going back to that childhood, right? Um, my mother had um, told us, she said, listen, you graduate from eighth grade, you're going to be able to throw a party, right? Do a party right here in the basement, rock, rock and roll. So my sister did a party. Her shit was off the chain. My brother did a party. His shit was off the chain. Then I did a party. The difference in my party was that since I was the youngest, all my brother's friends came, all my sister's friends came, and I used to be outside, so the whole neighborhood came. So it was a legendary event. It was off the chain, 1994. Legendary party. Some of my, some of the people that came to that party still come to my events to this day. Wow. That shit was off the chain. You just had it in you. I had it in me, man. I mean, you know. Is that when it sparked, like... Well, that was one I really was like, oh, shit. Like, damn. I could put together some shit. Yeah, and then what happened was um, that very next year, I wound up, um, because that was for free. Everybody just, it was like, you know, Mm -hmm. all right, like that was was a win, but it was free. So that next year was when I decided to do something for some money. Freshman year. Yep. Well, um, yeah, my freshman year, yep. That freshman year summer. Okay. How old was um, you? I was 15 years old, mm. and I did an event at a place called Carriage Hill in Deep Reynolds Town. And um, shit, man, I brought out about 500 people at five dollars a watt, made 2,500 dollars. I thought I was rich. Yeah, I mean, 15 years old, 25. Yeah, <laughs> I spelled my name out in all one dollar bills in my bed. <laughs> my mother tried to make me get a bank account. I was like, fuck no. What'd but, you buy? Yo. I bought, you know, like you go to lunch, right? So I was I was in private school at the time. I went to Mount St. Joe. And so our cafeteria was lit. Like you could buy pizza, burgers, everything. It wasn't like no bullshit food. So I wound up just, I had everything, bro. I had a whole pizza. I had burgers. I had sodas, a Skittles, spread. a whole, whole spread. Like, nigga, what's up? <laughs> Everybody hungry except for me. Mm. Yeah, it was a good time. No, that's dope. Yeah, so I did that, man. Um. That was a huge party, man. I had security, I had DJ. Shouts out to my man DJ Figaro, like my brother. I mean, it was it was crazy, bro. Yeah, carry Joe. Fifteen years old. I paid seven hundred dollars. I got back two hundred dollars deposit, um, which I never got back. But um, so it was seven hundred dollars. I was supposed to get back two hundred dollars if if nothing went wrong. I'm almost something. I'm almost sure something went wrong, but I never even went back and got the money. I just right. I forgot about the deposit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still owe me that shit. Wow. I'm, I'm coming for him. But it was, <laughs> I'm coming for him. Yeah. But it was a good time, man. It was it was it was nice, man. It was dope. So that fed you mentally that you knew, you know, moving forward, this is what I want to do. You know what, man? Did you I, have I was I mean, other I was aspirations? I was definitely saying to myself, oh, I like this party shit, but I was really more so on some business shit. Like, I, I just wanted some money, mm. you know? So I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, there's a guy uh, I used to go to school with named Chauncey Green. His father, Mr. Wayne Green, 
um, Wayne Green, but we used to call him Wayne Green, but Baltimore accent shit. Um, he was a uh, he was an investor, and I never forget. My mother was like, "Call Mr. Wayne and see what we're gonna do with the money." It's only twenty five hundred dollars, but you know we thought that shit was a lot of money. So I called him. He he told he recommended a few books to go get. I wound up going to the library. I went and got these books. Right, this is nineteen ninety five. Mm. Right, and um, I remember just skimming through the book. I used to never be a reader. I was a skimmer. Remember that skimming shit? You mm-hmm. skim through mm-hmm. this. And I saw find the um, good points. Yeah, I almost find the good points. It told me to invest in Exelon in nineteen ninety five. Wow! I will, I will never fucking forget that shit. Really? And guess who did not do it? Mm. Me, nigga. But uh, who? Know, if I would have put twenty five hundred dollars in that shit back then, that's like Con Ed in New York. Oh my god! I probably have so much bread right now. You've been sitting. But I remember right seeing that. Like you know, he he didn't really talk to me, give me too much information. He just told me, look at these books. But once again, see that's the issue I do have. I want to bring that. Up. I don't want to go too off. But you know. You know, older black men, man, we have a responsibility to sit down and educate our young brothers, you know what I'm saying? Not just, oh, go get this book. Like, he never came to me, talked to me. I don't want to bash him, whatever. I don't know how far this, this shit is going to go. I don't want to bash him, whatever. But, no, but he never really him. sat and dropped that gem on I wish he would have, you know what I mean, sat down with me. And So what I try to always do is sit down with young brothers and school them and educate them. Like, yo, look, I want to explain shit. You know what I mean? Like, don't just fucking... Tell me to do this or do that and then run off. Like, no, like, give me. Guide me. Guide me. But you don't think, let me ask you, but see, we are not guiding each other. No, we're not. But you don't think, like, in a sense, you you spend so much time with someone. Yo, read this and do that and do this. And then they don't do it. Because I know time is the only. That's that's happened. And and I just be like, yo, look, have a very nice day. And they come back a year or two later, like, yo, I wish you would listen. I got. Couple little young guys, you know what I mean? Always come back to me, call me. I'd be like, yo, I'm busy now. It's too late. I get you. I get oh, okay. You give an opportunity. Give right. an opportunity. If you don't take it, that's a wrap. One thing I'm not doing, I'm not wasting my time. Never. We ain't got mm. time for that shit. No, not at all. I ain't gonna lie. I keep thinking about that fucking beat when I came in. So I'm when I I'm a I'm a beats guy. Like I love beats. Me too. I was I was about to come in here and spit something. I he got it, he got it I all freestyle all night. much, but I used to when I was younger, but Damn, that shit made you feel good, didn't it? Yeah, you got you got something you could throw on DJ. <laughs> like, give me some, give me some hot shit, my nigga. Like, are you gonna yo, 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 freestyle right now? Nice and low, yo, yo, nice who, and low. Who gonna start? Are you gonna freestyle? This Let's will be it. the first time ever somebody freestyle Let's like in the middle of the show. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna shoot from the head. Fuck shoot it. From Fuck the head. If we're gonna do it, let's do it. Fuck it. What? Season five, what, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Season five, what happened? Yo, that shit. Yeah, oh, play, play, play some of that new shit. I came in, I came in, I was like, I'm like, who was like making So he does all the beats. So he makes the beats. Boom man. His brother makes the beats. Yeah. yeah. And then he just, he makes Boom man, right? Boom man. That shit like. The, the most of them DJs. Uh. Uh. This right here? Uh. The one you like? Nah, 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 nah. This shit is hard. Nah, this is one of the classics. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. Nah, nah, you about to rock? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that shit hard, though, yo. That shit is like... Bro, I was going to the bathroom like, what the fuck was it? Yeah. It was like, a party. Oh, yeah. We he, we stay loaded with beats here. Yeah. Music oh, yeah. is paramount in what we do. It sets the tone. So let me ask y'all this, man. How long y'all been doing this? Like, what's up with y'all, man? Like, fuck all that. I'm going to switch this shit up, nigga. Okay. What's up with y'all niggas, man? Hey yo, we we going on we going on what year three, year four? Yeah. This is the, this is the this is season five. Season five. This is the first episode of season five. Mm-hmm. And how would y'all get started? Like, what the fuck? Like, what made y'all do this shit? I mean, so I, I just started looking at Instagram. I'm like, this nigga doing a pod. Like, oh, this is dope. I mean, yeah. So like, you know me for a while, and then we work together, best friend, and then that's my neighbor, my man's right there. Okay. We came together. From New York too? No, no, he's from here. So that's what okay. makes the show so dope, is the fact that you have two New Yorkers, but we also have someone that's like born and raised in South Baltimore okay. that could like fact check us. Right. You know, he, he, he's a historian. <laughs> mm-hmm. when it comes okay, to the right, Baltimore the Baltimore. No, because we love the town, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you know. If, excuse me if I'm speaking for you, but we but love you, this town. So like, you, are you, you a DJ? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, so you a uh, Baltimore DJ or? Mm-hmm. All right. DJ, man. Pretty much my whole life. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. I, I so during COVID, a little bit before COVID, he would just DJ in the backyard, have the, all the neighbors lit. 
shit. So then one time my brother, you know, um, shout out to Manny. He's like, yo, you guys should do a podcast because all the stories we used to get together because we used to ride together. Oh, I, oh shit. In the North I, East. Mean, I got so you, stories. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot For of stuff. days, bro. Yeah. yeah. God. So then, no, 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 no. I know y'all got stories <laughs> For days, yeah, yeah. But what's dope is a, is that like we we have a philosophy of like just taking care of each other and like really brotherhood, doing, brotherhood. yeah, brotherhood. But also like being in the community and doing the right thing in the community. So we figured out that this would be the best way so that everyone can hear us. Mm. And three years later, we're blessed. We're doing it five seasons, a hundred and what? This is a hundred and fifty, fifty eight, fifty nine, fifty eight, fifty nine episode. Oh shit. Shit. We've had everybody on from like, I mean, yeah, if you go cool through it. Uh, am I the coolest? I would say so, because you, right. I mean, you know. Nobody came with that swag yet. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You bring your own, I mean, Sasson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bring your own Sasson to it. So. I'm outside. I got no, the Corona. We, we, we've had some the, amazing people. Got the like, Corona and the motherfucking Don Julio, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> we've had legends <laughs> from yeah. Baltimore here yeah, that sat in that chair. Hey, listen, let's talk about the love fest. Let's do it. What's that? Let the world know. What's Love so, Fest, bro? So here we go. Um, so about mm, six years ago, I told myself I want to do my own festival, right? I'm like, well, what am I going to call it? It's all about the love. What better than love? What better than love? Come on now. That's what everybody needs. Stop right. fucking hating, I love, man. I love, Absolutely. I love the people that Why is everybody out? hating so much? Stop being ignorant. Jesus Christ. Love. Treat, each, treat each other with love. Thank you, bro. Smile. Yeah. How are you, brother? How are you? Right. Looking good tonight, champ. You that, sharp. Thank you. Let's go get... You see that beautiful woman over there? Yo, but the women that show up to these events... But they supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> that's my God. Why is it going to be love if you ain't got no love list? Thank you. Yo, that's my God. Yeah. Man, so seriously, man, it's just, um, you know, I don't know what's going on. Obviously, I don't know if it's the, it's the jab, you know. I know there's a lot of COVID shots, you know, but, you know, a lot of things. People were mad before that, too. But everybody's so fucking upset. And I get it, because I remember when I was broke. I was a little upset, too. But, I mean, I wasn't that fucking mad, so it's not just about the money. I mean, I don't know. People are just naturally. The mindset is different. The now. mindset. Yes. Mm -hmm. People are just naturally, genuinely upset, just mad, hating. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that we start loving each other, bring more love to the table, stop hating, yes. you know, just be cool. And so the love fest has been born. I love that. So please, everybody. You said six years ago? Huh? You did six, six years, years ago, ago? I thought about it six years ago. Um, I just did my first one last year, which was at um, Sandlot. And now this year, I'm, um, I'm going to be at Middle Branch Waterfront. 3301 Waterview Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, but they come out for your party, though. Of course they do. Because I'm a gentleman. I mean, I right. see, yo. I mean, I'm a gentleman. I'm, I'm hanging out. Like, I'm, like, we're not being disrespectful. We've been, you know, all the yo, guys. Yeah, we're showing nice. love. Yeah, we're showing love. I know people right. that have babies after that night. Party. Yo, do you understand like, how many? Seriously. I got, remember that eighth grade party I told you about? Yeah. I got motherfuckers that met there that got kids. Wow. So this shit been happening. Right. And I mean, when I was doing Havana Club and all that sort of other shit. So, I mean, it's the love fest. People are meeting and enjoying each other's company that, you know, they're going on dates and hanging yeah. out. And, I mean, live bands. So, you know, and I'm going to touch on something. Uh, first of all, it's my birthday party. So let's be very clear about that. All right. Second of all, you know, y'all from New York, so y'all don't really understand the dynamic between Baltimore and D.C. I might have heard about it. He knows. But, you know, D.C., Baltimore was never really, you know, it's like two different worlds. Right. It is. So everybody's a little confused because that's what? I have backyard band performing. I love it. I love it. Now That's now, love. Right. They know what they're doing. Right. Backyard band. So people, oh, go, go, go. No, it's not about go, go. No, it's about okay. music. It's about, yo, this, what the fuck, this is my guy. It's about music. It's, it's about love. music. Yeah. Hey, yo, no point. Backyard band bring all of that. I know. She was talking it's about a, it. I backyard can't, band. Can't. Listen. Back, so, so backyard so we band. Out? Are we going? Bro, I'm definitely what? going what? now. Yo, y'all definitely going. I didn't yo, know about it then, but I know now. Y'all niggas better come. Say less. So backyard band, for, for those of you in yeah. Baltimore that don't know, yeah. backyard band is one of the best bands, period. period. Stop all this go-go bullshit. No. 
Like, oh, go, go. Like, no, yeah, they got go, go. Yeah, of course. DC. But they're one of the best bands out. Hands down. You cannot, so, you don't get around that. So let me ask you, Dave. So the people in Baltimore appreciate Backyard Band or A lot or of go, people, go? no, no, no. The majority of people do, 80% do. Okay. Yeah. But 20% is going to be like, Backyard, well, what's this guy doing? Yeah. What do you think I'm doing? I want to make sure that I bring people from the surrounding counties. Yeah. Right? Montgomery County, PG County. Yeah. I like your city, Columbia. I want to bring people to Baltimore. He's bringing love, everybody. Yes. Yeah. And I want to bring D.C. to Baltimore. Absolutely. Guess what? We go everywhere, but nobody comes to us. That's a fact. Oh. So it's finally about time that people come to Baltimore. But guess what? They only performing for an hour. So after that, welcome to my world. Welcome to Baltimore world. DJ Quicksilver, DJ Kiwi, DJ High Def. We're going to make sure the people that are not from Baltimore come to our world and see what we got going on. Quick That's the goal. That's the only way to bridge that gap, man. You got to bridge the gap. That's what we're trying to do on this platform. Fuck with this guy. Quicksilver is like the, uh, the, the, the funk flex of Baltimore. Yeah, he is. Quicksilver's my I, brother, I man. I saw him on, uh, with, on uh, Baltimore Lifestyle this morning. With Tiff. Shout out to y'all. Now nah, I seen him That's a couple times. Guy, man. Yeah, shout out to the Quicksilver. Shout out to his um uh his wife, uh, Ashley Silver. Um they he, has, he has two beautiful kids. One son, one beautiful daughter. I mean, Quick is really doing his thing, man. Yeah. Like, and that's family. That's good for the town. You know? It's good for the town. So mean, this is and, going and, down. And Quick is Baltimore and DC. And DC. He's from Baltimore, right? His um the street that he grew up on has been officially named after him. That's dope. But he's also in DC's one. He's the biggest, the biggest uh, uh, DJ in DC, right? He's wow. killing it. I mean, you can't beat it. He's actually on uh, something called Love and Marriage, a reality show. Yo, about DC. come through. Come, come talk to the so, Silverbacks. Oh, yeah, wow. that's my guy. So he's DC and Baltimore. And now he's actually about to be on the morning show, uh, 92Q. Oh, like DJing in the morning. Yeah, man. When you wake up drinking your coffee. Dope, bro. Hey, along with Pork Chop, who's a legend. Pork Chop, another one, right? Yeah. They they about to start up. So, you know. These are my guys. These so are my gonna peers. they're going to be there. Fuck yeah. Quicksilver's DJing. Quicksilver going to go on right after um, right after Backyard. Before Backyard, it's my guy DJ Hot Def. I'm not sure if you know who DJ Hot Def is, but let me All just right. tell you something real quick. Bro, I call him the anointed DJ. Let's anointed, be very clear. wow. The anointed DJ. You bestowed that upon him? He is he is anointed. Wow. Like when he gets to your He spirit, got it like that? He get to your spirit. And if y'all free tomorrow, he'll be DJing at my restaurant tomorrow, Avenue Kitchen. Shout out to my guy Pat. What up, Holmes? Avenue Kitchen, 911. That's a good vibe down there. Street. The best we, food. The best we've vibe. had lunch there a couple of times. And it's, yeah. Oh, it's downstairs. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good vibe. Good time at the and, bar. Um, amazing place. Uh, DJ Kibi, the youngest in charge, the young chant. She's gonna be starting us off. She's gonna be DJing as well. What's a female? Female, low Kibi man. She's like she's the hottest young female DJ right now in Baltimore. She's killing it. That's my little sis. That's dope. We outside for yeah. real. Yeah, we doing this shit, man. I love what you're doing for the nightlife in uh in Baltimore because, yo, I've been to your parties, I've been to all your events, and there's never been any problems. You know, because so, the news and so, everything so, says so, this so, kind so of thing. So first things first, safety. 1,000%. We want to make sure that when you come out, you're safe. Absolutely. We don't want no smoke. No. Everybody keep it cool, all right? And don't when go. you leave, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. We're not doing all that. Because you want to know why? The love. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The love. That's my guy, y'all. The love. Right it's, it's all about the love. It's all about the love. Absolutely. Bro. Yeah. Bro. Listen, the the one criteria that must happen is you got to come, have a great time, bring a smile, and share nothing but love. Yes, yes, yes. Now, my brother, I just met this good brother, right? He's such a such a gentleman. I appreciate you. I do want to challenge this brother one second because we having a good time. Yes. Can we do one shot together? Absolutely. Oh, let's go. I need let's that. go. Boop, 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 I boop. need that. <laughs> Where's you know, the Let's do it. I want to do a shot with my guy. I don't know why I like this it's dude, time. man. Let's I want to do a shot him. with this the big fella, man. He's a movie star. He almost ripped my fucking hand off when I gave him yeah. a handshake. I mean, that's the listen, football. God damn. No, no. Listen, part of, listen, part of being... 
A real one. Yes. You got to shake that motherfucker. Shake it. <laughs> shake you got to shake it. Shake it. Listen, uh, part of being a real one is having a vice grip. Yes, you motherfucker. You yeah. got that motherfucking vice That grip. separates a lot of shit. I don't oh, he no, started. That's what yeah, I'm talking. I, about. I don't want no. Yeah, no. no let, we're gonna start off fresh. Yeah, we're gonna start off fresh. Yes, Fuck sir. All, all right, Dre. What's up? You ready, nigga? I just took some. You bluffing ass? I just took some. Why? <laughs> you going in there? <laughs> <laughs> he going you that that nigga put nah. cold right, rocks right, in right. there. Come all on, right. Jack. Y'all know. Y'all know. Right, here we go. Tequila. All, all day. Right, cheers. Yo, cheers. Oh, oh yo, what's this too? You got it. 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 Yo, it's the love. The love, bro. It's the love. Health, wealth, and success. And to, and to the DJ. Get a DJ song. See you all day, every day. Yo, you got something for us over there? Yeah, What's up, Chad? Can you play it while we sip on Give us drinks. something, my nigga. God damn, I'm, I'm Chad. I'm turn your podcast <laughs> into a party. He turned it Why not? He turned Yo, where are you at? Listen, there's different vibes Come now. on, yeah. Chad. Yeah, come on. Give I us mean, something. Shit. So is that, is that the time left? Nah, I mean, yeah, kind oh. of. I know, I'm just trying to know we doing what we do. We, do, we oh, okay. roll. We I roll. mean, I know. I'm, I'm it's all good vibes. Oh. We just, you know. Yeah. We try to make it official. All right. I mean, if but so, we that keep was fine. Going. We I'm just, yeah, we rocking and rolling, but. Absolutely. I mean, what's up, DJ? You going to talk to me or what, Chant? Oh, yeah, I got you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want, I want, yeah, bring I want, it in nice and slow. Did, did, so did, we, did we, what are we doing? So what's this to you? The love and what else? It's to love, continue fellowship. Yeah. And setting... Phenomenal examples to being black amazing men. fathers. Yo, uh, to being amazing fathers too. Black fathers. Yeah. Shout out to all them fathers out there that are doing their thing, grinding. Yo, fathers. It's hard out there, but yo, keep doing it. Gentlemen, I want to tell y'all something. Keep, no, no, keep that music going. Yeah, I keep like it that. going. I like that. That's just dope. Yeah. I have a beautiful son, six years old. I have a daughter now. I'm sorry, my son's five years old. My daughter is six months. And let me Congratulations, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Amazing. Let me tell you, Father, son. There you go. I'm having a fucking blast. Yeah. Yo, it is. get your kids, lock in, and have a good time. Absolutely. I'm having a fucking blast. Last you know what it is to. about kids? It's the investment you get back. Yeah. It's an investment. Yeah. Fuck the trades, fuck the, you know, the, the real estate. Your real investment is, are your kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm that, having a good fucking time. I'm just like constantly educating him on something. Yeah. My son. Which there's is, always a teachable there's moment. There's always a teachable moment. I think I saw him with a Rolex on the other day. I'm yeah. playing. <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> so, shots out to the fathers. I just saw 11 11 on the screen. So that was confirmation right there. Wow, yeah. yeah. That's facts. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's big facts right there. That's, that's beautiful. That's, that's, that's the screen, huge. I, I saw 11 That's huge. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. beautiful. I'm on that shit. You want it. Okay. Yeah. I'm spiritual. Yeah. Synchronicity. So, let's have a toast. Let's have a toast. Peace and love. Amazing. Mm. There you go. It's the nectar right there. Woo! It's gonna be a lot of that flowing. I never yeah. throw it all the way back. Pause. Smart man. <laughs> God damn. Caught it early. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. He was on it. My man. Yeah. yeah. Never throw it all the way back. But. Woo! Well, 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 what should I wear to this love fest? Yo, man. So come see me, man. What I gotta wear. So, um, like a tux? No, 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 no. Uh, I call it smart casual. Okay. You know, just throw something real slick on. Come out, come enjoy, and we have a good time. Okay. So, just a recap: music, food, fun, friends, love, live entertainment, backyard band, music by DJ uh, Quicksilver, my guy, the anointed DJ, DJ High Def, Key, and of course, Dave Kowser Productions. Still sensational. Come check me out. I love y'all, man. And, bef and before we go there, and peace I? and blessings. I love y'all. Can we go to the Avenue, Avenue Kitchen real quick? Listen, Avenue Kitchen, 911 West 36th Street. Come see me. I have the best chef, Chef Audio. Right? He's always going to put a little Mexican twist on it. Mm. I'm Don't telling you right that. now, we have the best lamb chops, the best salmon, the 
the best tacos. You can't beat it. Yeah. Come check me out. Why Avenue Kitchen? Because I'm there. That's what uh, I'm talking about. Come fuck with me. All day. You know what I mean? Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate Always you. respect, man. That's love. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Listen. Fun, man. You never thank disappoint. You. I want to thank y'all for having me, man. I want to thank you for you coming on. Hey, can I come back? I need you to come back. All right. Because this is only going to go to the next level. Thank you. Yeah. Can we do a live podcast at Avenue Kitchen? No, fuck that. How about a live podcast at the Love Fact? Yo, that's dope. I'm with that. Say less. Don't bullshit. No, definitely not. Y'all coming? Absolutely. So live podcast at the Love Fest. The Love Fest. And I have a back room at the Avenue Kitchen. We can set up right there in the Avenue Kitchen. We can do live podcast. Let's talk. Because I've already been trying to plan my own little, you know, show slash podcast. I mean, shit. Y'all can be my first guest. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. Y'all heard it here. If they bullshit, if they bluff. I know. Check him and check me on that. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Right? There's no, no bluffing. There's no bluffing. We don't know what that is. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know what that is. <laughs> don't even know what you just said. Right. <laughs> Love you, man. Love you more, bro. Thank y'all, man. Seriously. I appreciate it, man. And thank you. I appreciate everybody, man. Respect. God, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, don't get no better. No. I want to thank my brother Dave for coming on. Listen, just his spirit alone just talks to you. Thank you there's no excuse for hard work ladies and gentlemen if you're a single father single mother work hard our children are a reflection of us so when they go out into this crazy world we gotta prepare them prepare them by any means necessary prepare, instill them with the hard work ethic instill them with traditions the proper foundation goals and non-stop hard work ethic it's a big world out there there's so much money to make make the proper decisions make the right decisions and always be there as a driving force for them it takes a village the trees don't hang out with the grass even though they've grown up in the same area damn so separate yourself he's a prophet this guy and when you separate yourself that's when you soar because sometimes you got to be away from everybody to get to your goal, to get to where you want to be. And that's okay. Because the right people are going to be there for the right reasons all day, every day. And you don't got to explain that to a motherfucker that love you and appreciate what you do. And they see you where you're going. They see your vision. Everybody's vision is different. Everybody playing is different. Everybody book is different. You write your own book. But you focus and you work hard at that. The devil's always working. That's his job, to create corruption. Don't, please don't let him seal your feet. Stay focused, stay driven. Keep God first and foremost, whatever God you serve. We love you, we appreciate you. Silverback Chronicles Podcast, Big H, Dre, Triple C. Dre, what you got? He's anointed, by the way. Yeah, I That's mean, the kid let, is, Let's be very clear. Yeah. His brother's anointed. He's different. Anointed. Mm. I get it. I'm just gonna say that uh, if you're single, like you said, single parent, uh, wife, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Listen, wife, female, whatever, whatever you come get. to love fest and Absolutely. you won't be single no more. No, 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 Peace but, and love. no, no, That's but, it. no, but no, whether you're single or not, I mean, you know, the um, people who are not single are coming, you know what I mean? Uh, so we have couples coming, we got singles coming. Yeah, I just, mean, it's, everybody, it's just the love. That's what it's, it's about. Uh, uh, so I'm, gl- I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. Because some people think it's just for couples. No. Some no. people think it's just for singles. It's for everybody. Yeah. It's the love. Come to the love fest. That's you know what? I miss outside. that. I miss that. Yeah. Just grown. You know what I mean? Like, just grown folks yeah, coming yeah. out having a good time. That's it. Laugh. Meet people. Introduce yourself. Network. Come enjoy yourself. Right. Network. Come have a good time. What the fuck y'all worried about? Little right. networking. That's my language. It. No, but 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 it's coming it's coming from a great place. Yeah. Because time and time after again, I get so annoyed at our people because they just want to be disruptive. Yeah, for no reason. For just no lies. reason. Like <laughs> take, take and it easy. Mad when they talk about us. Take it easy a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. To, it's okay to smile. What's yeah. wrong with smiling? Listen, I love you, and you just met him. I love you. 
real person can understand that love, can understand that energy. Be nice. Be nice. Love. Nothing wrong with that. September 17th, it's all about love. And it'll be his birthday. Peace and love. And That's we're going to have a podcast right there live. Live. Can you imagine that? Disgusting. That's going to be crazy. Let's yeah, like it. bring the whole set like. Yeah, let's, I mean, if we're going to do it, we got to do it right. That's, That's the only way I want to do it. crazy. And what I could do, I could create a whole tent at the DJ right now, whatever. We have the whole tent, whatever, drinks. Perfect. Everybody, come, people come in and talk. Yeah. About what's going on with the event. Absolutely. I'll bring back y'all band in there and talk. That's disgusting. Bro. Love that. Yo. My <laughs> man, quick gonna disgusting. come in. Everybody gonna come in. Yeah. Everybody gonna check in. Yeah. yeah. Check in for a good couple minutes. Yeah. And then we moving on a to five the five minute check in. That's it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And we create number one, four, three, baby. Love. All day. Still Peace sensational. And love. Peace and love. Peace. Peace. Triple C. Bless it out of peacemakers. My people, Silverback Chronicles Podcast, your boy Big H, Triple C, and Dre. I love you. Be safe. Talk to you later. And don't forget, September 17th, Love Baby, the Love Festival. Come correct. Come with love. Come with smiles. Come with greetings. Come with your lady. Come with your boys. Dress to impress. And always have a smile. Please. Hey. expressed on the Silverback Chronicles podcasts are those of the hosts, producers, and or the guest appearing on the program. They do not reflect the views and opinions of the federal, state, or local government. This includes but not exclusive to the Department of Defense, Homeland, and the Baltimore City Police Department. The Silverback Chronicles podcast with Dre, Big H and Triple C. Hit the subscribe button, like and comment.